Hey everybody, it's Rafi Zerb, and I got another video on typography. In the last video, we talked about the built-in foundation typography styles and how to adjust them. A lot of that stuff was behind the scenes and kind of just helps your page look better. These typography helpers are actually classes that you can add into your HTML to adjust the look and feel of your typography. So we're gonna hop into some real examples and show you how to use them. So here we have a callout, which is just a box with some padding and a border. And inside of it, we have an image, a header, and a paragraph tag, and a couple other things. So what we're gonna do is apply some of Foundation's helper classes to this typography to adjust it. So first thing, and probably something that you're gonna use a lot, is the text alignment classes. So we can add this to the parent element, which is the callout, and it'll affect all the typography inside, including the image. Now it'll affect the image as well because the image is display inline block. So if we put the text-center class on the callout, it's going to affect the image, the header, the paragraph tag, and these other things down here, and center them. So text-center is one of those classes. You might also use text-right depending on the layout or uh, in certain circumstances, things will look better aligned to the right. So you can definitely use the text-right class. There's also text-left, but that is the default setup in a left-to-right environment. If you're using a right-to-left environment, uh, then you might use the text-left class a little bit more often. And there's also text-justify, which you may or may not decide to use, but this will justify the text so you have these bigger gaps in between the text. So you can align the text with the parent element so it'll affect everything inside. But you may also want to affect just a piece of text inside. So let's go with this paragraph tag. Everything else is centered, but we want this paragraph tag to be aligned to the left. And we might want to do that because, you know, when you have a lot of text, it does read a little bit worse when it's centered. So let's make it even more prominent. You'll see what I'm saying. That this reads a lot better. So we push the text over to the left, but everything else is still centered because on the parent element, we have the text-center class. So just showing you that you can use this on a parent element and affect all of the items inside, or you can use this directly on uh, a paragraph tag or a header tag or other things that are text. Another class that you can use on text that comes really in handy is the lead class. So if you want a little bit more line height and you want a little bit bolder text and something that's just a little bit bigger, so this is usually used for intro paragraphs to blog posts or things like that, you might use the lead class to make that a little bit bigger. Another thing you can use is the subheader class. So we have our header here, center me, and we're gonna add an H2 in here, so we'll keep these in order. Okay, and we'll make a subheader. So the H2 is already a little bit smaller, but now we're going to add a class of subheader. So adding a class of subheader will change the line height and subdue the color of the header. So as you can see here, it changes the styles. So that's another helpful class that you can use. Moving down the line, we have this number here, 128, and that's 128 days without a merge conflict, which for me is almost impossible. So we're gonna go ahead and add a stat class to this. So if we add a class of stat to an element, what it'll do is it'll bump up the size of the text inside 
And this is great for statistics numbers or uh, anything else that you want to highlight a little bit larger. And you can use this in line on any element. So it could be like uh, a span or a paragraph or a header. Okay, and there's also a way to handle the bullets on unordered lists. So this one you'll find handy as well, that sometimes you don't want bullets on unordered lists. So you can use the no-bullet class on your UL, and that'll remove the bullets. Now you notice that it only removes the bullets on its direct children. Um, so these list items that are direct children of this UL will not have any bullets. If you want to remove the bullets from all the LIs, then you'll add the class to this nested UL as well. So there's a lot of helpful classes in Foundation to get your typography right, and this is just some of them, so definitely check out the docs, and also down below, you have some helpful variables here, which you'll find in your settings file for the SAS version of Foundation. And you can quickly adjust these to get the look and feel that you're looking for.